Hello and welcome to today's tutorial where I'm gonna show you how you can swap within the Polkadot ecosystem from one token to another, however it is on testnet, it's with the famous Polka swap, which I've covered in a previous video where I've dedicated it to Polka swap and how it's gonna play that important role within the Polkadot ecosystem and also Kusama. So just to reiterate here, in a summary, Polkaswap is a liquidity aggregator cross-chain DEX protocol designed uniquely for the Polkadot and Kusama network and a bridge to Ethereum. Of course, you can check them out on their Telegram page if you wanna join their or their website, polkaswap.io. This is on Twitter. So they basically announced here 22 hours ago that the Polkaswap testnet will be updated next week. But for now, please help them with the test, testing the current version. So they've got this Medium article. Again, the link will be found in the description of this video, so do check it out. And also a link to any referral links to any exchanges, for example, like MXC, which have a lot of tokens from the Polkadot ecosystem. If you wish to support this channel, if you don't already have an account there, do sign up using my ref link. I would very much appreciate it. You also get like a deduction in fee. It's like 30% off your trading fees as well. And again, not financial advice, it's just if you're interested to get into the Polkadot ecosystem. So, again, if you go to this Medium article, you all you have to do here is you need to have a wallet, right? First of all, you need to have the Polkadot wallet. And if you don't know how to create the wallet, I'm not going to show you in this video. So do check out the video that's popping up on the top right hand corner if, it's, if you're watching this on YouTube which is gonna show you how you can create the web wallet with Polkadot. It's a very important video to watch because that web wallet is gonna be used for everything related to Polkadot, all the parachains, everything. So what do you do once you have the wallet and of course the web browser extension, you need to go to test.polkaswap.io as we can see here on this link. And then once you do that, you need to go to another link. So open this on a separate web, uh, on a separate tab, which is called testfaucet.polkaswap.io. So here on this test faucet, which we're gonna look at in a moment, you're gonna be able to get 100 XOR, 100 PSWAP and 100 VAL every single day. And these are the three tokens that are part of the PolkaSwap project. And these, these are the ones that are gonna be launching on mainnet too. But again, this is on testnet. This is how it's gonna look. We're getting a general idea here. There could be some changes when it comes to mainnet, but it's usually quite similar. And again, it is quite similar to Uniswap too. So here, what do you do? You go to the faucet. This is the first thing you do. Assuming you have the wallet, you choose what token do you want. So XOR, VAL, or PSWAP. I basically took all of them. You type in your address here, the public address the amount that you want it could be 100 per day that's the max and then you click send testnet xor and it sends it once the transaction confirms then you get it you'll see it in your balance here because you do need to connect this wallet you'll get the option just like on uniswap to connect the wallet to your polkadot.js extension so once you do that you can of course choose whichever account you have on polkadot.js and you'll see your balance and of course you can swap so you've also got the option of pull so we can actually add liquidity to here but now for the purpose of this tutorial let's focus on the swap first of all so let's say i want to swap my balance of 100 xor let's say i want to sell 10 xor for p swap right so how many p swaps will i get i'll get 4.56 and again this is testnet right so unrealistic prices we're gonna see the real prices when it happens right so we click swap here it does tell me that I can swap it here. So this is very similar to Uniswap. It tells me what's the minimum received, what's the liquid, uh, liquidity provider fee and the network fee, which is very small here or not so small to be honest because XOR's price is absolutely humongous, right? But again, compared to Ethereum, it's still much cheaper, right? For now, for now. Okay, then you click on confirm. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to sign this transaction. So again, you need the Polkadot.js wallet, right? which is the web browser extension. Click sign the transaction and the transaction has been submitted. So let's check the balance soon. How long does it take? How long does it take? And again, you got to remember that this is testnet. Okay. So testnet is a little bit slower than mainnet. So when it comes to mainnet, things should be moving much more smoother, smoother. Okay. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. There we go. Swapped swapped let's see if the balance changes let's see if the balance changes okay it's still waiting balance is still 100 i should have more and i should have less xor of course oops no it's not updating yet why 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 This is the first time I'm doing this, by the way. I haven't done this before the tutorial, so it could just be that maybe it's not working yet. I don't know. 
um, but it should do. I mean, it should do. Let's try to swap. Let's try to swap. Say, for example, from VAL because I took 100 of each, and let's try to get Polka swap as well. Uh, so for 10 VAL, I'm going to get 3.4 Polka swap. Let's swap again. Confirm. Sign the transaction. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so it just took a little bit until I, I saw the balance uh, get updated, right? It just takes a little bit because it is testnet, right? So now we've got 104 P swap. So now let's just wait a little bit more and then we should see the new balance now because I did swap VAL as well. Fail to swap VAL. Okay, okay, that's interesting. I wonder why. Maybe because this balance didn't get updated yet. Or maybe because there isn't enough liquidity, right? Because you do need to supply liquidity too. So let's go here to the pool. Let's try to add liquidity actually. Oh, it doesn't let me. Okay, so they didn't add this feature yet, did they? Or, or no, you just have to choose. Let's see. Okay, now it works. So you just have to choose uh, what you want to add liquidity for. Which, which pairs do you want to add liquidity for? So this is just like Uniswap, except it's within the Polkadot ecosystem. So let's say I want to add it for XOR and VAL. And again, I apologize for this. This is my first time doing it. Uh, because I literally saw this tweet and I thought, okay, let's just do this. Okay, so if I want to supply 10 XOR as liquidity, I also need to supply 13.21 VAL. Now, what is my share of the pool? 0.03%. So let's say I want to do 50 instead. Then I'll get 0.1% as the share of the pool. And this is the network fee. So let's do 50, right? Let's do 50 and 66 VAL. Supply, confirm. Let's sign this transaction. Transaction submitted. Let's give it some time. I mean, it's definitely faster than Ethereum, right? And, and, and this is on testnet. So on mainnet, you could expect, there we go. So this is confirmed now, the liquidity has been supplied. Now the question is, where can I see this? Because I want to be able to see this pool. Oh, there we go. There we go. You see, it shows up now. So if I click this plus symbol here, it's telling me how many pool tokens I have. I can add more liquidity or I can remove the liquidity or I can create a new pair. So I'm assuming here that my payment has to be, uh, is not going to go, it's not going to go to my wallet automatically, right? This is my assumption. I don't know. Again, this is new. I'm likely going to do a follow-up video, not necessarily on this, uh, on a tutorial on this, but just in a news video to, to talk about this. But it would be interesting to know because you do need to sign everything on Polkadot and also on Ethereum, right? So I'm guessing that when you do get paid from those transaction fees for the liquidity that you've supplied for other traders to do the swaps, then you should likely have to uh, claim that, uh, that transaction fee or that transaction interest that you got. Um, so yeah. Let's go to Sora here again. So yeah, again, the other the other transaction had failed. So we're just going to try this again now. But uh, let's try from Val to P swap, right? Because this is the one that failed, I think. So let's try to swap that. Confirm. Let's enter the password again. Sign the transaction. Let's see if this works. Let's give it a moment. Perhaps it failed because either it didn't have enough liquidity or or it could be because the other transaction hadn't updated yet you see it failed again okay so it must be the liquidity or maybe it's just a bug so hopefully we'll find out later but let's try again from xor maybe there's just a lot of liquidity between xor and pswap and not enough for the other one right so let's try to swap this again swap from xor to pswap let's see if this works now of course when it comes to mainnet there will be plenty of liquidity because there is um, there is there should be interest because there's there's uh, there's motivation to do it right if people are gonna get a share of that pool i share those transaction fees just like on uniswap you see look for xor it does work fine so i was able to swap it straight away it could just be that for val for val there may not be enough liquidity right there may not be enough liquidity. Let's try 25 here. Um, 
and the slippage tolerance too right we've got the slippage tolerance here oh okay so we can change it okay so just like with uniswap let's try one percent here actually let's try two percent here two percent can i try two percent does it let me it does perfect let's try again two percent custom perfect okay let's try two percent let's try 25 and let's try and swap either there's a bug or there's just not enough liquidity let's try again sign the transaction let's see if this works okay maybe there are just many people testing at the moment it failed okay so there's either a problem with the liquidity uh, a lack of liquidity or it's a bug between uh, val and uh, which is the sora validator token uh, or val i'm not sure how they pronounce it and p swap let's try to do it from val to xor can i do that no it doesn't let me oh okay it doesn't let me or it does it does okay let's try this then let's see if this works if not, I'm assuming there may be some kind of problem with the VAL transactions here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, this is good, right? This is the whole purpose of testing this. Okay, this worked. Okay, so the problem is between the VAL token pair with a P swap. Okay, so maybe there hasn't been enough liquidity being provided. Uh, I've provided liquidity for XOR Val, so perhaps if I was to supply to provide liquidity for the other one, for the one that's lacking, maybe it would work, right? Let's actually try this while we're at it. Okay, so let's try, let's try here. Can I not swap this? Okay, it doesn't let me. It doesn't let me, so that might explain why it doesn't work. Um, okay so yeah it looks like you cannot supply liquidity between x uh, between val and p swap so because of that that explains why the transaction is failing uh if i do p swap here see this one i can't change this one this is the problem here right this one is stuck on xor so you can either supply liquidity between xor and p swap or xor and val but not between val and p swap so that explains why we can't trade uh between these two pairs right now we've got the answer right so you just there's no liquidity because you just can't supply it so it's part of their testing they're probably just they probably either forgot to add it or didn't have an intention to add it maybe there's a, there's a reason behind it but yeah this is pretty much it i hope you found this informative and i hope i've covered all the different topics here it's very straightforward to use not not complicated at all right it's even easier than uniswap to be honest so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it or dislike if you don't. And thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.